Located in Zuru local government area of Kebi State in northwestern Nigeria, Geramache Shrine belongs to a class of locations referred to as sacred natural sites. A sacred natural site is an area of rich and diverse nature that has special spiritual significance to individuals and to communities. For the indigenes of Zuru, Geramache plays a key role in their well-being, reaffirming and strengthening their cultural identity as a people, while providing spiritual solutions to their needs and problems. <laughs> What we say is that the people who are living in the world are living in the world, living in the world, living in the world, living in the world. Known as Lelna, the indigenes of Zuru speak a language called Chilela. They refer to their country home as Chupunalela or Alela, while their culture is Dlela. The word Zuru means warrior. It's a bastardization of Azuguru or Azuranu Darkakari, which the colonial masters found easier to pronounce. The crocodile, Crocodilus porosus, locally known as Kadunaka in Chilela language, is the major totem found in Geramache. A large number of these crocodiles live in the river that runs through the shrine. Daily at Geremache, activities such as sacrifices, prayer, and supplications for personal needs and problems are constant. The priests would receive the supplicants and listen to their complaints and petitions. They, in turn, relate the messages to the spirits, represented by a particular ancient crocodile, believed to possess powers to perform miracles and unveil mysteries. The people believe that Geramache connects them with their gods. They believe that by offering sacrifices in forms of chickens, dogs, tobacco, grains, etc., they will have their request granted. 
The priests slaughter the animals and feed the crocodiles with their sacrificial meat. Some of the petitions brought by the people, as recounted by the chief priest, includes 1. to provide protection against enemies, 2. to avert plagues and calamities, 3. to break the yoke of barrenness and bring fruitfulness in the home. When this request is granted, the resulting male child is named after Giramache, while the female is named Dada. 4. to provide rain for their crops to thrive well. 5. To boost business success. Kamasa Malsa Malsa, Oba Rinu Yao, Oba Rinu Pusu, to Anok and Lu, to Alta Kum de Sete. I'm a banda banda mungu. Come out on Kavs of Quarry and Cho. Apart from the daily activities, some cultural activities take place in Geramache. These include Uhula and Biti festivals and Gulmo marriage ceremony. Uhula festival is identified as the most prominent cultural festival of the Launa and it is celebrated annually to mark the end of the farming season when Guinea corn is ripe for harvest. The people offer thanksgiving and sacrifices to the gods for a bountiful harvest and for preventing diseases and natural disaster from affecting them. If an incidence of epidemics or plague believed to have resulted from infidelity on the part of the people occurs, the festival is cancelled until the gods are appeased before a date is announced for the celebration. Similar to Uhula is Dbiti festival, which is celebrated on a different day. The scenarios are the same. However, Dbiti is normally celebrated towards the end of August, when the rain is at its peak and farmers are set to harvest fonio or acha. Golmo, on the other hand, is a marital rite that usually celebrates the graduation of suitors, yadato, who have served the farmlands of their respective in-laws for a period of about seven years.